you said, Houston police will have a news conference here tomorrow announcing a number of arrests of MS-13 gang members. Some of these guys' names linked to seven murder investigations. These cases so sensitive, those who have been arrested are being separated while in jail. Only a wreath and crime scene tape now mark what was a bloody murder scene. Four men identified by Houston police as MS-13 gang members are in jail. According to court records, they took turns hacking the victim to death with a machete. Machetes are, are that's, that's one of their weapons of choice, machetes and guns, and that's only if they want you to die quickly. The complainant then uh, met with the officer. Later. During a probable cause hearing August 23rd, it was revealed the victim, an MS-13 gang member himself, was cooperating with police. It was June 6 when he contacted HPD to tell them he was meeting with MS-13 gang members. Police provided him a recording device and watched him as he left his Southwest Houston apartment with the suspects. According to court records, at 10:13, the victim texted his location, 7600 Long Drive next to Cullinan Park to an officer. There was no more communication. The next morning, they found his bloodied body in the park inside his pocket, their recording device, and determined he died within 30 minutes of his text. Investigators believe the victim was murdered because the suspects thought he was working with a rival gang. Years. Mark Stevens is a former HPD undercover officer with 30 years in law enforcement. I think that what they did was lure him to his death. Miguel Aguilar Ochoa and Marlon Miranda appeared in court together. The state also revealed how dangerous they believe.